There we go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor. This is Tech Tuesday, and we're talking about this thing. This. Sup ow. Sup see, that's my point. Supposedly, selfie stick. Coming up. So, in reality, is this a selfie stick? No, this is not a fucking selfie stick. There's just no way around that. Uh, I have switched the, the, the adapter that it comes with, but it comes with a similar adapter. I just have a much thicker phone. This has just more surface area and I just need as much protection. It's a heavy ass phone. I'm not interested in losing it. But here's the thing, this is not a comfortable, like I have big ass hands and this is not a comfortable grip. This is not a selfie stick, but I'll tell you what it is. A pretty decent tripod. Now before we get started, I do want to say this was provided for free, so just keep that in mind, but I am, of course, as always, going to give you an honest review, so let's start and just rip into it. It's it's a good tripod. That's the thing. It's, it's, a, it's a really solid tripod. This bottom piece, they're not, they're, they don't really like lock into place or anything, but it's a nice metal base. I mean, like it's an aluminum frame. It's an aluminum tripod. It like it screws into place with, uh, with this thumb screw. The thumb screw head is plastic, but I mean, it's obviously a metal screw, but like it screws into place. So it's like, it's, this is where it's at. There's not going to be any weird settings or adjustments that need to be made. And then it's just up. My problem, if you could call it that, is that it is fixed in its setting, horizontal setting, right? This is the, 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 let me see if I can get this a little lower. It's fixed, right? This is fixed. This cannot turn around. Um, I, I tried unscrewing this. It is screwed through the metal pole. There's, there's no way for this, this base to be moved. Editor Dalibor here. I do want to just hop in real quick. Uh, while I did point out that this base here is not adjustable and you can't turn kind of where the position of this uh, uh, tightening nut is or whatever you want to call it, tightening the wing nut, uh, the actual head is movable. It's just hard, which is why I didn't bring it up. Like, like it's not, it's like a click into place situation. And honestly, it, like, it's more, it's more effort than I want to be doing. Obviously, once you use it for a while, like it's going to get loosened, but the whole purpose is that it clicks into place. The whole head of this, besides the, the really nice quarter 20 uh, spinner, it just feels like it has this concept of uh, lock into place. Like even this, unscrew it some more. Like even this, like fixed position. That's, I guess that's the, the idea that it seems to have. Um, and it's just not my favorite. Let's get back to it. My first thought when I undid this, this let's say I want to do a TikTok video and I'll go vertical. Uh, it's not, right, it's not straight in any of the click points. So I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna just set it straight and tighten it and it was great. So because it does have that tightening ability, you have the option to, to have kind of whatever setting you want, but it is limited. I wish it had a ball head. I wish it had just like a good old tripod ball head. Uh, I don't know why they build this as a selfie stick. I just don't. But like I have, like I said, I have big ass hands and this is a challenge. Like to hold this is a challenge. Like, and I have big ass hands, guys. Like. Yeah, this is not this is not the way, as they say. Four levels of expansion, pretty solid, pretty smooth uh, setup. Uh, I did get uh, one of these stuck uh, when I was like I just let it drop and I couldn't couldn't lock one of these. So yeah, so like the thing that pushed that one up too far. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, so like it's not you know it's far from perfect, but it's. Uh, definitely usable I, I think this can definitely be a great tool for people who are <sighs> I think this would be a great tool for people people who are doing TikTok, people who are doing Instagram stories reels that kind of stuff because it does have a firm stance right it's not just some little arm it's not you know it, it, you're not just holding it yourself 
it is a firm stance you could set it to whatever height you need to whatever position you need and it's got like i said the the base is really solid you get a nice wide base like a, a wide stance uh it, it this i mean this is going to be stronger and firmer of a, of a stand than any other tripod slash uh, selfie stick, quote unquote. Uh, and that's primarily because none of them go this wide. It's like it's a huge base and I am a big fan of the sturdiness. I mean, even the tripod I'm using right now, I'm a little, you know, it's kind of like on its tippy toes and because it doesn't have you know like this is on its tippy toes once you ratchet that down like it's not going anywhere like this that's just the, the little play it has but like this is like like i'm not see <laughs> i'm not afraid of this just like flopping over uh it has it, it's got the uh, little rubber grips on the bottom it's metal so it's it's not uh it, it's not flying off anywhere. The top has a really solid, really, really solid uh, quarter 20 point. Like, nice big ring, like, really solid. You're gonna be able to attach anything. I'm, I'm thinking I probably can also use the, the M10 with this, which is nice, because uh, then it's kind of a, a good tripod to have, especially for its height, uh, even in, in a small space, right? You could just, instead of having like an actual big old tripod you could have something like this where it has this nice big top and still use it with a camera because it's metal so it's not really gonna it's not gonna block at the weight as i mentioned i switched the phone adapter it came with a similar version but just smaller with smaller uh rubber pieces this i forget what this came with but this has like the most rubber so it has the most contact points for my phone uh phones are getting just bigger and heavier uh, so I don't see, like, if it just had this little rubber top, which is what the other one had, I, I, it wouldn't feel as comfortable, but like, this is, this is sturdy. This is a sturdy grip. So that's the only difference that I've done. Uh, the other one that it came with just, I wasn't super comfortable with it because of my big ass phone. Overall, this is a solid choice. You know, if we were to rate it, I gotta come up with a rating system. You know, like if, if it's like if it's a 10 scale, I'd give this a solid seven. Uh, I think this is a, a good utility. I, I'm, I'm glad I have it for sure. I'm interested to see kind of how it survives. But yeah, overall, uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, I'm glad I have it. I'm excited to, to kind of add it to my inventory. Uh, this is one of those things that I don't think I'll bring this many places with me but it's definitely something that I'm gonna have like upstairs in my library and I hate airplanes for real. And I gotta find a place that's not near an airport, but I'm near Chicago. So like there are 43 airports. So yeah, upstairs in the library, uh, I'm thinking about, we'll, we'll talk about it another day, but I'm thinking about doing some more stuff with uh, comics and, and talking about comics. Uh, so this is something I could definitely go up there and kind of live in that space. Uh, and still take up very little space uh, while giving me a, a firm uh, <laughs> a firm mounting point for a camera. If you're interested in it, it, the link is of course down below and as always, you know, it's an affiliate link so I might make a couple pennies and if you use that, I appreciate you very much. That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and uh, I'll see you next time.